Hey y'all, Farmer Biker here. We got a couple of new additions to the farm uh, yesterday morning. Let me show them to you. So we got two new girls. This little doe here, she's a New Zealand White Californian Cross, which are both meat breeds. And we got we I picked her up yesterday morning. And this morning we came out here, because I said she was eight months old, put her in with him. And man, it was quick. She was ready. So she's bred. So in a month we'll have babies out of her. And then we got this little girl right here. She's a Flemish New Zealand cross. And she's only, I think she's about five months old, four or five months old. She's got a couple more months for, we're going to try to breed her. And she's real friendly. She comes up to the cage and sniffs on us and stuff. We pet on her. And she's got real pretty markings. But she'll be big and have big babies. The Flemish Flemish giants are bigger than the New Zealands. They get up to 12, 13 pounds. And New, Zealand, New Zealand's get to 8 to 10 pounds. And so she should... They're babies. Because I'm going to breed her with him. What's up, dude? What are you doing? We're going to breed them together. And we'll get big babies out of them. <clears throat> Colorful big babies, which will be good for people who want to keep them for pets. So, two new does. And these babies here, look at how big they are. Two weeks old, they'll be pulled off in a week, and then she'll get rebred. But they're big, their eyes are opening. Now they're moving around, starting to hop around. Had a couple of them jump out yesterday. I gotta build some more rabbit cages because I wanna move all the does into their own individual cages. Now let me show you all the corn. It's getting, it, it, it's bolted and it's looking real good. Check it out. Look at how tall this stuff is. I mean, actually it's not really all that big considering what it's grown in the past, but, but the soil is pretty weak. And um, in, in years past, it's much bigger. But it'll take us a couple of years to get this soil built into a, a good growing condition. Right now it's just pretty much just sand. But with all the animals that we have, and the collection of manure over a couple of years, and mixing it in with the soil, we'll, we'll get a good garden built. It'll just take some time. But they're flowering out. Got all the little pollen sacks. And then there's the hairs on the corn cobs. Those little, you can see them as little dots. They fall off onto the, the hairs of the corn cobs. And then it fertilizes the seeds. So, corn's growing good. We should get a decent amount out of it this year. You know, it's, it's good to know what the soil's like. If, if this is what corn grows like, then we're definitely gonna have to add fertilizer to it. I would have to find a source for, for uh, Manure, I think, because I don't think we'll be able to produce enough manure fast enough to really get it good and rich. But there's plenty of dairies around our area, and I'm hoping that we'll, maybe I could talk to a few of them and see if we can get you know, a couple, three trailer loads of manure we can spread on the garden. So, it's growing. Some of it's all up close to my chest. I'm 6'3", so it'll keep growing. It'll keep growing uh, up. For another three months so it may get above my head we'll see the other thing that's interesting about this indian corn is it has offshoots a lot of them have secondary shoots and the generic corns you see in the fields don't have that it tells you it's more of an older style of corn it's got a secondary shoot and they'll produce an ear so pretty cool a lot of them are like that some of the squash are growing really good too. Check this out. Look at these guys. Yeah. Hoping that they'll grow fast enough to start covering things, but they're not growing nearly as fast as we thought they would. But nutritionally deficient soil, that's what happens. So. But I tell you what, I think the pigs got it right. This whole afternoon siesta thing 
Man. Every day. I just snooze for like two or three hours. Off and on. All day, yeah. I'm thinking we should bring that around. What do you think? What do you think? Okay. Take a nap. Between like 11 and 2 every day. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good to me. These pigs sure got it figured out. They love it. We've been doing some clearing back behind the house where all the grapes and the perennials are going to go. Let me show you some of the some of the gold, I guess you could call it, we found back in here. This is one of three tires we pulled out. Oh, some barbed, that's barbed wire. A bunch of barbed wire. Beer bottles, cinder blocks, palms, old rusted metal. Bicycle frame. If you can see it. I don't know how long that's been back there. The best part of all is <laughs> the kitchen sink. And the bathroom sink. They were buried back in the back in here. We actually thought that kitchen sink was a refrigerator door until we pulled it out. And there was down in the sand down here. And vines everywhere. Yeah, this is a slow process. Clearing land like this. It's tedious work. We don't really go crazy with it anymore. A little bit at a time. We'll have all this cleared out here in a month or so. And uh, we'll start to tilling on it. And getting some grape arbors built and planting some perennials. We can plant things pretty much any time of the year because it's like, you know, tropics down here. So well, These girls have pretty well eaten their pasture down. On the other side of the driveway, I don't know if y'all ever saw in the background, but there was a, an old RV there and a crunched up car that were here when we bought the place. They got hauled off last week and I've been getting all the last bit of trash out of this little field here and then we're going to build a fence here all around here so this will be a little pasture too. We'll work on that next week. We'll move them over and then we'll go in there with the wheelbarrow. We tried going in there with a wheelbarrow and collecting the little piles of poo everywhere. And they just come over and knock the wheelbarrow over and they did it three times. I was like, this isn't gonna work. We gotta have one two people guarding the wheelbarrow and one person picking up the poo. Cause it's it's not a lot in there, but there's uh, there's several. Several, several wheelbarrow loads we'll put on the garden until it in. So, but I guess I'll we'll wait until we get the other fence built and move them over, and then and we'll come in and clean all this up. And I'll take my lawn over and mow it all, mow it all down, because some of the stuff's like bull grass, like that stuff there is real thick and tough, and they don't like to eat that. So I'll mow it all flat and then start watering it to get the grass to grow back good. Thanks for watching, y'all.